Hi there and welcome back to Works and Resources Soviet Republic. I'm Risen32 and this is the Soviet Isle. So things are look, keep looking pretty good in the capital. If I can get my words out. TV station is on the way to being built. Still struggling to produce enough food, but this is what we put this area in here for. I still want to do a little bit of work on this today. There's a little bit that we need to do and there's a couple of other areas which I would like to improve as well. So guys, if you do enjoy the video, as always, please hit that thumbs up button, comment below and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. So what I'm thinking is here is we currently don't have heating coming in in here anywhere. So it would be good to get heating in. Oh, if there's a little gap here. Are you going to work? Okay, yeah, that'll work. So we could sneak... Oh, we, oh no, no, maybe? Yeah, okay, cool. We could sneak in a little pump here. And we could feed that chap in. I think that's a good idea. That uh, no, don't pay for it. Don't pay for it. Cool. So we can get a little pump in. I want like a little. Probably I'm probably gonna go along the lines of a little bit too much heating in this area. And we put you there. Yeah. Cool. And that will keep every. Well, it will keep a few people happy in that direction. Then I also want to get like another pump over here because we're probably gonna want houses in this area at some stage. Maybe. We could actually. But it's your hospital, right? Yep. And let's try and remember what we built here. I was hoping to have. You're going to be a restaurant, so we're going, to, we're going to get food into you. Are you food? Possibly. Well, the supermarket should have food now, right? Yeah, it does. It's full of food and clothes. Like, we'll, I think once we get a few more people, we should reap the benefits from this area. I'm hoping. Because, if I'll show you now, look. We have got loads of grain in, and it's May. So, like, over the winter, we are not running out of grain at the moment. We can expand if we need to. We are importing, if I show you, that last month, we, we're making profit... We're just spending it as quick as we get it. <laughs> we're importing so much so much food, it's unreal. Clothes, electronics, we're doing pretty good. Electronics is like kind of the next focus. Meat would be good to improve. Um, I think that's going to come with time, though. Have we got meat in you? We don't know. Okay, who's our little meat transport? I think it was over here, wasn't it? Possibly, yeah. I feel like you were. So we probably need to get some meat, meat wagons set up as well. Why are you... Have you got meat in you? You don't. Do you? You don't either. Okay. Well, that suggests that we're not producing enough meat. So that that is something that we should definitely have a look at in the future as well. But before we do that, let's get this let's get these chaps warm. And then there's another thing I want to do as well, just to help with our financial situation. So I'm going to keep this road coming along like so, as well, maybe not quite quite so sharp. That looks like a good little angle. And then if we pull you onto there, perfect, cool. That be we could definitely fit more houses in there if we need to. That won't be a problem, but heating is what we're all about right now. There, it's okay at the moment because we've only got one house, so it's like 64 people perish over the winter. We are more than capable of, of replenishing, of, of having more people come in there. I mean, that's quite harsh, but I mean, I guess that's what we're about now, is it not? Heating. Why can't I see heating? Because you're in here. There we go. Right, so I want to have, we're going to have, oh, a heat exchanger. This is the end of the line job, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's what we want over there. Okay. We'll, we'll cancel you. Goodbye. Yes. And this little bit of road can go as well. Lovely jubbly. And heat exchange. Yeah, cool. So I want one in here. And are you going to fit in here? Oh, rats. Okay. Let's, um, how do I get rid of all these lines? That would be really nice. Make it a lot easier to see what I'm doing. Um, we'll get rid of you. Yeah, I'm hoping we can squeeze it in here. If we cannot, then that, uh, that may be a problem. Yeah, get rid of it. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah. Oh, we can. Okay, right. So we put you in almost like that. We need to be able to get a cable. A cable. We need to, have to get heating to it. Hopefully we can run them under pylons. We'll find that out shortly, I'm sure. Okay. And this chap is going to do good at getting heating to everyone over here. I'm, oh, we can't see who it's going to do now. But that's going to do pretty much all of this. But I still want to get another one in possibly down here. Just to, so we've got extra coverage if needs be. And when we expand, I won't have to worry about where we're going to put it off. Why do we get a bitchman every time for heating? And, there, and then we won't have to worry about that too much. A small heat exchanger. No, we want a heat exchanger. Nothing small about what we're doing here. So I reckon we put you in, like, here, by the hospital, and then we can run in a nice little... Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, done. Cool. Then we're also going to want... So I need a way to... We're going to send a pipe over to you, and we need another one down there. So then we're going to want to have a heat pumping station? Yep. Yeah. Are they... Oh, that is looking like kind of... Are you big or are you small? Okay, well, you're not small. Okay, well, then let's have you sit just here next to our... Next to you, lovely jubbly. And put a little bit of gravel in. And bring you there. And around like so. Hopefully, we're not going to lose too much heat as we are transferring, passing, using the pipelines, which isn't you. We want heating, which... Heating pipe's big. Cool. So, if we pull you... 
almost mm, let's think I, I don't want these to like interfere too much with like future planning so if we can get you as close as we can to like the snap points of buildings then we're not going to interfere too much with what's going on that is my plan and is that going to work yet okay so if we pull you yeah perfect cool and we could always leave i think that's going to work quite nice it's quite a long run here we could bring it down a little bit can we get you around here let's put you two like there and then yeah that's all you lovely cool and keep you nice and tight along here and then into there perfect cool that's that chap done we can do something similar over here we're probably going to end up putting trees in i would i do want to get on with a bit of decoration but i want to get our money sort of situation or have a solution in place for it so we don't have to worry about it quite so much that will be good but it hasn't happened yet Oh, we can run them under. Okay, cool. So if we put take you to about here, you should. Perfect. Cool. That will keep them nice and toasty. I don't think that's going to look too bad there, actually. We've kind of managed to keep it quite tight to the, the actual structures in there. Okay, cool. So now we need to get some heating across here. And I suspect we're going to have to do an up and over jobby, possibly. Can we get... We might be able to go like over the top of that and no, we want to come more this direction, don't we? Okay, so if we take you, okay, it doesn't like where it is. Let's take you back a little bit. Well, we could take it up from there, couldn't we? Then that wouldn't be so much of a, yeah, okay, that works. Okay, cool. That's probably a little bit too sharp. Can we, well, maybe not actually. Because we want you to come sort of here, do we? Yeah, that's the right sort of way. And we're coming straight across there to, towards that pylon. Okay, let's keep you... I mean, you don't have to be quite so high. We can... Is that the right way to do it? Run you straight over the top of a gondola? <laughs> it's not a gondola, is it? It's a gazebo. Straight over the top of a gazebo might not be the best way. Okay, right, let's bring you back a little bit. Idea here is to try and... I don't think that's... That, that, that's just very... No, I'm okay with that. Is that not built? No, it is built. I'm okay with it. We can always hide it with more trees. Okay, right, let's get you... We could bring you down. I think that's a problem, isn't it? It's starting to make it a bit... I'm liking it, actually. As we're doing this. Bring you into there and into here. Lovely. Cool. So that will then hopefully... Give us a reasonable amount of heating there. Possibly. May I hope they're not too far away. Well, I mean... Hmm, maybe not, because we've got a heat exchanger all the way over here that's doing okay. So hopefully not. I mean, it's definitely going to burn more coal. But we've got plenty of coal in here, so that is not correct. Okay. So that's something we're going to have to be wary of then. Who is your little... Where's your distribution shed? Okay. So what have we got in here? What's your capacity? Your capacity is 12 tonnes. Is there anything better on the market? If we can get something that has a bit more than 12 tonnes in it, then that's where we want to go. What have you got? 11... No, no. 16 tonnes could be an option. 95 kilometres an hour. Okay, something to think about. Or we could just put another one in, which I think might be a slightly better option here. We can squeeze it in really close to it. I don't mind putting one down. We'll put one down now and see if we can. Um, distribution office. I am still really enjoying that this is all alphabetical now. So much easier. Okay, if we can squeeze you in there, we can. That is perfect. Okay, we'll put you in there. We'll get that built when we can. We need to be, We need to keep an eye on this. This might backfire on us in the winter. Saying that is only May. And are you, like, why are you burning? Why are you making heating? What's the temperature? 15 degrees. Okay. I guess that kind of makes sense. So we definitely need to up the ante on that. We've got coal over here, have we? Yeah, we've got loads of coal. Hmm, okay. So what about, who's the chap on you? Your gravel distribution, you chaps here. Okay, so you could also possibly do the coal one here. And um, let's just make sure that you are offloading gravel to the right places here. Uh, rail construction as well. Here you could pick up coal and bring it over here as well. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Just coal, though. We, 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 don't, we don't want anything else. Buildings are set to 30%. Okay, cool. That will help, I think. Possibly? Have they all gone out? Were they already out? Maybe they were already out doing the business. Okay, cool. Well, we'll let that run. Hopefully, we should see a little bit of fruition from that. This area, I think we're going to see, like, boom. Oh, they're already on the roads. Once these roads get in, everything's going to look really cool there. Still, we, we're actually massively doing better on the steel act. And I want to go over to where we are making the steel, actually, because there is... We have a little situation over here that I'd like to resolve. So, if you look here... Oh, no, it's all gone. <laughs> we are producing steel quite good. You look at our... 
mechanical components. We've got loads of those in there. So we are selling them. So we have got a good income coming in. We just aren't producing enough food to cover the cost for it. And one of the other situations we're sort of finding ourselves in, if we come over here and have a look at our fuel depot, is we're struggling to get fuel into this area, which was expected. I was hoping to get a bit of a better workforce from these buildings here, but that isn't the case at the moment. And that's because we're lacking schools, kindergartens, they want a little bit of sport. And I think we, if we just chuck down a school or two in here, we should be able to do this. Now, I want a decent... We're going to go... We're going to dive into our little modded universe. Mod, modded universe? Modded... Yeah. Ooh. I think you'll look good. And I just want to squeeze it in. Yeah. Like so. And get in a little kindergarten. Like a decent sized kindergarten here. And I am really enjoying this one at the moment. And we could probably put you in like so. Yep. Lovely. I'm doing this on purpose because I'm going to, I want to make like a little... Little boulevard thing type here. They do want a bit of sport, but I think they also want a culture, did they not? Clothes, meat, food. Okay, yeah. That's the usual problem that we're getting from here. We don't have food in here at the moment. Which is all related to us not having enough people over there. But I'm not overly concerned. Are we getting food in from over here? Like, how are we doing in this area? You're doing good? Okay. Possibly could do with it. I think we're going to end up expanding, expanding this pretty quickly. Once we get everything working nicely. But yeah, that's definitely... Hmm, we are, aren't we? Okay. I can have a look at that. But this is quite important at the moment because if we can get money in, then we'll be buying the food and it won't be so much of an issue. And um, What else do they want? Getting distracted there. Went ahead, but Mike. So we want sport. Kindergarten school. That, that's all that we want in it. Okay, so what sort of sport have we got that we could put in here that's... I mean, small. Sport? I mean, I would say yes. Sports playgrounds, I guess. Um, what have we got there? We've got a bowling alley. Could be quite nice in here. Oh, we fit down this way too. Yeah, let's squeeze you in like so. Lovely. Anything else that might like sports hook massive? That's more like the right size. Cool. I think that chap will fit in here. They're all getting. They should all get heating and energy here. I, I didn't really check that. Okay, cool. Now let's get a little road in here and get this set up. I think this would be quite nice. I'm gonna do a gravel one. I want to. I, I should be mixing up the roads a little bit more. I need to. I need to get better at that. Definitely. Um, and then if we can bring you around like so. Yep, perfect, perfect, perfect. That should be good. I don't think we need to worry about anything else. And that will link them all up nicely. Cool. So we'll get those built. That will keep these people happy. And then hopefully we should see... We've got lots of passengers waiting, but we haven't got the workers yet. So hopefully we should see better... Like We've got plenty of people moving around, but we should see better traffic through here or more people coming through i also want to sort this little lump out there that, that's annoying me a little bit let's get rid of that i want to i'm going to i want to change this to be the main sort of road through i think oh you're not gonna let me do it, are you oh you are lovely cool right well, we're gonna go like this um okay that will do yeah i think we could probably do most of this now we'll do that because there's two ways to get to this yeah um, this is going to be become one of the most, I think, yeah, this road here is probably going to go. We'll see how that works with this bus station here, because it does mean that the buses are going to be coming up and around and through here and into there. But I just, they get delayed by the trains and I don't like how it looks. So I think we should do that. I'm definitely doing all of this. Yeah, and then that's that done. Um, we can actually time out that a little bit there as well, can't we? And we'll, we'll get them on that route already. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Um, let's just check that this building has got access to everything, or it doesn't, it doesn't anymore, okay. So where are your little paths, my friend? Okay, so we can we can get you onto here, lovely, cool. We'll do that for you as well, just to make sure they're not completely isolated from the world, is what I'm thinking there. If we can get you into that, perfect, good, cool. We'll get you over to that, lovely. We'll put you up here as well. This is going to look really good when it's done, I reckon. Get those built, cool. Now, that's everything over here, we've... Hopefully we're going to see a bit of a a bit of a positive change with this coming in here and over at the centre as well. Now, I'm perp I don't want to like, overload with what's going on at the moment. We're still waiting for the other farm to be built, actually. How are you? So just waiting on steels. This is getting closer and closer. You are being built, yeah? How many construction? You don't have any construction officers on you. That'll be why it's not being built, though, won't it? So look, we'll get these set up. Cool. So hopefully we can get this done pretty quickly because I think it is going to be worth us having a additional fields in this area. Yeah, I think that's going to be a sensible. I, I will check at this harvest. That's something I didn't check to see if they, they actually put, if they, they get all the grain out of it. I'm very confident they do. Maybe we need to think about elsewhere. We could even field along here. 
this is going to be a highway. This road is coming on quite nicely. We've managed to get this central section done here. The building supplies are coming along. Once we get all the conveyors set, we can get this done. That's going to really speed up, especially building over in that area, which would be awesome. That's what we kind of want there. We're still waiting for a coal, <laughs> coal unit to be built. We've got a lot going on over this side, which is why I'm hesitant to do too much. We definitely need to, and this is going to come. We need to replan this chap. He, he's just not... It doesn't pull quick enough from here, if you watch. I, like, I have to have the distribution office run, otherwise it won't do it. Can't keep enough meat in there, so I think we need to completely rework this chap here. And I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that. Uh, can we move it? Possibly. We may end up... We definitely there definitely needs to be a plan there, uh, or we just like accept the losses that we're taking. I'm not sure yet. We need a plan. Have been time making a few more roads. How are you doing with passengers? Yeah, look at that. 226 workers. So we're getting a good amount of workers from here. And where are you going, by the way? Okay, you're going to the steel mill. That's why our steel production has gone through the roof, which is why I don't mind adding a little bit more on. Oh, we've got a little road there that we haven't told them to build. There we go. Build it. Cool. So that will be built. So yeah, this is going to take a little while to be done. And hopefully what that's going to do then is it's going to drive our production here up a little bit faster. Because at the moment, this chap is it's really struggling. So I'm going to send you over to there. I need to get more fuel in. I've kind of got to keep an eye on this myself at the moment to make sure that's happening. I just traded this chap in. Makes us a fortune every now and then. So we can fill him up quick and then, then we're laughing. We are definitely getting a bit of progress over here, which is good. You know, things are looking great. But I'm just we're just going to leave this. This will be built when it's built. We're not in a massive rush for that. We're finally getting into town here as well. Um, what I'm more concerned about at the moment, though, is if we come over here and have a look at our little tourist area. And what we have managed to do is we've managed to get the asphalt up and running. But for some reason, it's not pulling gravel. Why would that be? Is it because you've got no workers? No, you've got workers. We cannot store export asphalt. Oh, that's why, isn't it? Yeah, so what we should get then is we can produce, we can, we've got everything for this chap to get you going through apart from mechanical components. It's something we definitely need over here so that we can do that. It's going to be a warehouse, which we should have everything that we can make with. Yep. So a good little spot, I think, will be, I think we need to plan, let's plan for, oh, that was our plan for the future, wasn't it? Which would work quite nicely. Yeah. So this is going to be where we can bring in i don't think okay oh we do have this will be a good place for us to bring in where we can bring in where we can to bring in our mechanical components our electronics once we start making them that's definitely something we should be looking at um it's gonna take a little while let's just hit the hit the afterburners or even can we get you in here oh that will work i mean we're probably not gonna are we gonna use trains i doubt we're gonna use trains over here i doubt that is something Okay, that's interesting that you want that one. But that that's fine by me. Come on, get in there. Oh, come on. Well, let's just... It would fight us, but that's fine. We'll get this in here. And then we can plan for the future with getting some of our more important things. Like, we, we can't really just splash the cash on things anymore. We are having our food crisis, which we're going to pretend is going to be okay. So we can get you put in there. That's fine. And we're going to stay with asphalt. Uh, not asphalt. What's your problem? Oh, because there's a massive hill up there, isn't it? Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, lovely. And then up. And it didn't put the conveyor in. Let's just make sure that that is going to be okay, actually, before we get on building the road there. You, will you go? Yeah, I thought you were going to do that. Rats, okay. Good job we checked that and we didn't build this before we did it. So let's get rid of you. Get this nice and flat. Yeah, we need to get rid of that road, I think. Would be nice. So we can oh that's a lot quicker actually. We can definitely so, so we can get the no, I want you the same. Okay, it's suggesting it is. I don't think you're gonna do it though, are you? No. Okay, I might regret that. So we may have to move this. Yep. Yep. Okay, maybe not. Maybe we can get it in there now that we've actually seemed to be getting this level. Come on though, you can do this. I've only got the one chap on it, but he's doing a good job. We'll get in there and yeah hopefully we can get sort of a bit more of the tourism i think at the moment with this sort of save is we're running into problems and that's just because we haven't got efficient systems but possibly it might be an idea maybe i think i think once we get the tourism set up and we have a look at that it might be time for us to change onto a new map possibly and see if we can get a bit more of an efficient well i, I reckon now 
you know, it's definitely possible to get more of an efficient setup going, especially with the tourism and the aeroplanes. It's going to be interesting to see how they work with cargo and things. I know helicopters haven't been imp implemented yet, and I really like helicopters in the way for like rural, rural sort of distribution. I think that'd be perfect. Awesome. We'll set up now. Cool. Right. Now, this road is going to look a bit janky, unless you're going to let me... Okay, let's put you there. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. How can you say, like, tell me it's okay to do it, and then tell me it's too steep? That is, like, death climb, isn't it? Are you going to let, let me do that? I can't do it. It's offending me. <laughs> that's mental. Okay, let's give it a bit of this. We don't need to go all the way, just something so... I just want to be able to get like a smoother looking road out of here which I think we could probably do by going like that which is lovely awesome cool right let's get this into there now once we've got this built we can start distribution distributing everything over it we're probably gonna have to pay for this chap here which how much is he gonna be so he's at 400,000 which I think we can afford so that is excellent so on that note guys if you enjoyed the episode hit the thumbs up button comment below and maybe consider subscribing to the channel all right guys take care ciao